Hey guys, thanks for tuning back into my channel. Today's video is on this look right here. <laughs> it's a very simple eye look with a nice glitter winged liner and this bright pop-in lipstick. The lipstick is actually called Poppin <laughs> from ColourPop, so the pun was intended <laughs> on that one. <laughs> but yeah, it's a really simple look. I don't even have any falsies on. You could totally wear falsies if you wanted. Um, but yeah, it's just a really quick look for you guys. So if you like seeing videos like this, please give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, so this is the first time I'm doing a voiceover. First, I'm taking the Smashbox 24-hour photo finish shadow primer and putting that over both of my lids at a super, super fast, super human speed. <laughs> and after that, I'm going to take the Tartlet in Bloom palette and take the shade Charmer and Flower Child on a Royal and Lang Nickel Angle Shader Brush and use that to set my base. So I thought by doing a voiceover I would <laughs> not ramble as much and the video would be much shorter. So <laughs> let's see how this goes. Let me know if you guys like the voiceovers more or if you like the more talk through tutorials. I then take Charmer and really pack it on my brow bone to highlight that brow bone area. <laughs> so next I will take the Morphe M441 with the shade Smarty Pants and use that as a transition shade and that just blend that into the crease area. So this is a very simple eye look. It doesn't take too many shadows. I used everything from this Tartlet in Bloom palette, which is probably my go-to palette of 2016. I absolutely love all the shades. I love how it blends. It's a super small, compact palette, and I really have enjoyed it this year. And so, like I said, it's not a lot to the eyeshadows. The star of the show is going to be the glitter liner. But this just creates depth, especially for someone like me who has these super hooded eyes. I feel like putting the shades in my crease really help make my eyes look, <laughs> look wider and bigger than what they are. So I'm just taking my time to blend that in and build up the color. Next, I'm going to take the shade Jet Setter on the Sigma E25 blending brush and then just put that a little lower in the crease and really just define the crease a little more. This is probably my new favorite blending brush. I absolutely love the Sigma brushes and I definitely think I'm going to buy some more. They're just really soft and they blend the eyeshadows really well. So like I said, nothing too extreme, nothing too dramatic, just a, just enough to define the crease. And do you guys just love the fluffiness that is going on behind me? <laughs> I got this throw from Home Goods the other day and I just needed to have it make an appearance in my video because I'm absolutely in love. And I can't keep it on the floor or it won't be white anymore. <laughs> so I figured I would put it on my chair. <laughs> All right, next I'm taking Smarty Pants back on that Morphe M441 and just blending out the Jet Setter shade that I put lower onto my crease. Just want a nice blended look, nothing too defined. And then I also take that shade Smarty Pants and just put it on my lid. The lids are going to be pretty bare and you won't be able to really even tell that much, but I just wanted something on them. And then I take that angle shader brush that I used earlier to set my lid and just pack on Smarty Pants a little more. 
And then <laughs> I think right here I actually went back and added some more Jet Setter. I just, after blending, sometimes you just have to go back and forth and build up the color and then blend and build up the color and so on and so forth. Next, I take a Sigma E30 pencil brush and that Jet Setter shade and just go onto my lower lash line and I don't really smoke it out too much, it's more just to define that lower lash line. I never used to put any sort of color on my lower lash line because I felt like it closed my eyes off too much, but I found I just have to be, I guess, a little more delicate. So if you want to smoke it out a little bit more or make it a little bit deeper, go right ahead. The top part of my eyes aren't super dramatic or have super deep colors. So I thought it was look nice on the bottom. And then my favorite part, you can tell I'm so excited. <laughs> I take the Urban Decay Heavy Metal liquid liner in the shade Midnight Cowboy and Create a Wing. And oh my gosh, look at my like alien creature hands. I had a spray tan last night and I guess I didn't put enough of that barrier cream on my hands and look, oh my gosh, it looks so disgusting. As I, <laughs> when I was editing, editing this, I was like, oh my gosh, I have like creature hands. They look like, um, they look like what, uh, what's his name, Gollum from Lord of the Rings. It looks like his, like, nasty, gnarly hands. <laughs> so, <laughs> forgive those. I will work on my hands being nicer for future videos. I might actually even get my nails done. We shall see about that. <laughs> but yeah, so this liner is super easy to work with. The brush tip applicator is super fine and you can create a really nice sharp thin line or build it up and what I found is just to build up the glitter I just had to go over it a few times to so you could really see the glitter and the video does not do it justice I feel like I don't know if it's the lighting or what but in person like the glitter liner really really popped and you could see it really well so really just it's not hard to work with you just have to take your time to build up the pigment but i can see this being a new favorite product because i absolutely love it so i'm speeding up through this part but it really isn't too difficult to make the wing with this liner it just takes some time so <laughs> moving on from that and I liked how they looked, so I decided to move on to mascara. And I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black again. I have been trying this out since my full face first impression of drugstore makeup that I did the other day. And I do really like this mascara. It is a little clumpy. So I, the first time I used it, it wasn't as clumpy as it was this time. So I'm not really quite sure why, but it's definitely a mascara I'm going to keep using and keep testing out because it does make my lashes really black and it makes it look like they're curled even when they're not <laughs> because I always forget to curl my lashes. So you could totally curl your lashes and then do mascara, obviously. And I didn't put any falsies on in the video, but for pictures, I did pop on a pair of the Ilor Lux Opulent lashes. So I just feel like lashes look really nice in pictures. So that's why I did that. And then you'll see soon my super cute face that I make when I put on mascara on my lower lashes. It is super cute and attractive right there. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Next, I'm using the Benefit Give Me Brow in shade three. This is just the tinted brow gel that I gravitate towards. I think it has like little fibers in it, um, maybe, but it definitely I said before it makes my lashes <laughs> look fluffy. They just make my lashes, it makes my lashes look full and it keeps them in place. So I just comb up 
the, in the front of my brow and then comb through the rest. So I really just follow the way the hairs are growing. And I seriously feel incomplete without tinted brow gel. Like I could walk out of the house and be like, oh my gosh, the whole look is off if I don't put this stuff on. <laughs> Maybelline also makes one that I really like. And I'll list in the description box below with all the other products I used. But that is definitely an affordable one that I like. But just if you do decide to get that one instead of the Benefit, I always kind of wipe off the brush a little bit before I apply it because it can be a little much. Next, I'm using the ColourPop Lippy Sticks in the shade Poppin. And this is their Matte X formula. So it's really super matte, but it's really pigmented. It's a beautiful, just bright kind of fuchsia magenta color. And I just loved it. You could totally rock a nude lip. You could even do a red lip with this. I just, um, I just thought this color was so much fun. And since the eyes, even though there's the glitter liner, they're still pretty, they're not super bold or dramatic in terms of, I feel like it doesn't look overwhelming <laughs> with the bright lipstick. But you could definitely wear pretty much whatever color you want since the eye look is so neutral. And as you can see, I definitely struggle. I'm not <laughs> the best at doing my lips, but I figured it out. Oh, and this color makes your lips, not your lips, your teeth look so white. Looks like I've been using some crushed white strips, which I haven't been, but I need to. <laughs> so yeah, so this is the completed look. This is me trying to... <laughs> give you guys the poses. I need to work on this. I felt <laughs> really awkward doing this, but yeah, I had fun doing this. If you like the voiceovers, let me know. If you like the talk throughs, let me know. And thanks for watching guys.